All right, class. So today we are going to work on graphing exponential functions. We're going to work on graphing exponential functions. I'm going to use a white sheet of paper to show uh, my work. I'm going to use a white piece of paper to show my work. There are many ways that you can graph an exponential function, actually two ways to graph an exponential function. The two ways to graph an exponential the two ways to graph an exponential function are to graph them using the graphing calculator and to create a function table, okay? To create a function table, All right? So here, I'm going to create a function table, okay? You got your x values here. You're going to put your... Um, equation in the center and your output or your y values there so that you can graph the ordered pairs. Keep in mind the x values that you use are going to be the ones that you can graph, the ones that you can graph, okay? So your x values can't go above negative 7 and positive 7 because that's what is displayed on this graph, all right? Okay, so this is how this works. Let's do zero. Let's, well, let's do zero first. Okay, so when you plug in zero, now y is equal to four um, times two to the zero power. So any number raised to the zero power is going to be one. So this is four times one, which is going to be four. So your answer here is four. Remember, four times one, your answer is going to equal four, okay? Let's do um, positive one, okay? All right, so we got y is equal to four times two to the one power. We're gonna substitute one in the place of x. So this is now gonna give me four times two. Four times two is eight. And so this is gonna be eight, all right? Let's now do positive 2, okay? So now we have y is equal to 4 times 2 to the second power. So exponent comes first in order of operations. 2 to the second power is 4. So we have 4 times 4, which is going to be 16, okay? And so as you can see, your common ratio is two. So you're multiplying by two to get to the next number. So obviously the next number here, when you multiply this by two, this is gonna give you 32, so on and so forth, okay? All right, and so now you can kind of see the, you can see that it's um, growing at a more rapid rate, unlike a linear function where it grows at a constant rate. This is growing at a more rapid rate. It's growing by an exponent. You see how x is the exponent? The common ratio is 2. So in order to get to the next number, you have to multiply um, by 2. Okay? All right. Let's see. If I wanted to know the number before this, I go work backwards and do division. I divide by, divide by 2, and that will give me 2 here. Okay? So I'm going to graph... I'm going to graph these ordered pairs. I got 0 and 4. So this is 0 and 4 is right here. Then I have uh, 1 and 8. Let's see, I got 1 and 8. So I'm going to do go over 1 and go up to 8. Then I got 2 and 16. And then I got 3 and 32, which I don't have enough space. So I need to see the cur it curve a little bit more, so I'm going to go in this direction. Remember, I told you that negative that if you want numbers in the opposite direction, you could divide to get this number here, or you can just substitute and get more answers. So let's do negative 1. We have here 4 times 2 to the negative 1. So this is to write this, this is the same as writing it like this, times 
1 over now 2 to the positive um, positive 1 power, okay, because it's a negative exponent. Now I'm going to put a 1 under this and multiply straight across. So this is going to give me 4 divided by 2, which is going to be 2. So I got negative 1 and 2. So we got negative 1 and 2 is right here. Okay. And then if we do it again, let's do a negative 2. Okay. So we got y is equal to 4 times 2 to the negative 2. So again, we got 4 times, to make this a positive exponent, put it on the bottom. So now it's positive 2. Okay. So this is going to give me, on the bottom here is 4. So I got 4 on the top, 4 on the bottom. Because 1 times 4 is 4, so this gives me 1. So that's negative 2 and 1. Negative 2 and positive 1 is right here. Okay? All right. And then, again, if I'm going in the opposite direction, you notice it's going by half. So that would just keep getting smaller and smaller. Okay? All right. So this is my, my curve. And this is exponential growth because my b is greater than 1. This is exponential growth because my b is greater than 1. Again, my a here, my starting amount is 4. That's my y-intercept right here. And my common ratio, b is 2. Okay. Don't forget to attach your work to this document, okay, when you submit. All right, so let's look at number two. Let's look at number two. Same thing, okay, same thing. I'm going to go ahead and say this is an exponential growth. I'm going to go ahead and write that in. And I know it's exponential growth because B, two is B, because B is greater than one. My A in this problem, or my y-intercept, is 5. My B, my common ratio in this problem, is 2. So now I'm going to create a function table. Okay. So number 2, we're going to create our function table. We got, mm, I'm tripping. We got X, put the equation in the middle. And this is y, okay? All right, so here we have, uh, let's see here. Our x values go from, again, 7, negative 7 to positive 7. So I'm just going to start with 0. And we already know what our starting amount is. It's going to be 5. We're going to substitute anyway. We already know that. This is anything raised to 0 power is 1. So this is 5 times 1 which is 5, okay? So we got 0 and 5. So we got 0, go up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is our y-intercept, okay? All right, so let's do 1, okay? And I'm just picking numbers that are along the x-axis that I can actually graph, okay? So I'm going to do 1. So we got y is equal to 5 times 2 to the 1 power. Well, 2 to the 1 power is just 2. So this is 5 times 2, which is going to be 10. Okay. And again, our common ratio is 2, so you can multiply by 2 to get to the next number. All right. So this is 2. So when we substitute 2, so we got 2 to the second power. That's going to be 4. So we got 5 times 4, which is going to be 20. And again, you can just multiply by 2 to get to the next number because that's our common ratio there. All right? Okay. And we can't go up any more than 20. So let's go in the opposite direction. Let's do, instead of 0, let's do negative 1. Okay? So we got y is equal to 5 times 2 to the negative 1. Okay, so here again, we got 5 times, you can't have a negative exponent, so we write it as a fraction, 1 over now 2 to the positive 1 power. You don't have, you can put it there, but you don't have to. I didn't do it over here. 
but now it's positive one as an exponent. So we're gonna write this as a fraction so we can multiply straight across. And it gives us five over two. Five over two or half of five is two is two point five. Okay, so that's going to be negative one. Negative one is right here and 2.5. So this is one, this is two, and two and a half is right here. Okay, so we're going to do another one. Let's go with negative two, okay? And do this again. Um, we have y is equal to five times two to the negative two, all right? So this gives us five times, you know, write this as a fraction. Can't have a negative exponent, so we're going to bring it down to the bottom and make it a positive exponent. Number one. So now this is going to be five on the top. This is going to be four on the bottom. Two to the second power is four. One times four is four. Okay? So it's going to be five over five over um, four. So look, when you do that, you have five divided by four, and that gives us half of what that was, which is uh, one and half of 50 is 0.25, right? Okay. All right, because I'm working backwards. So instead of multiplying to get to the next number, I was working backwards going from here to here. So I divided by two instead of multiplying by two. All right, so substitute, I substitute this, and this is what I got as that answer. So I have negative two. So I'll go to negative two and then go up to one um, 0.25. So this is one and 0.25 is half of 50. So the halfway mark between the halfway mark and is right in there somewhere, possibly. Okay. All right. And let's, oh, I forgot to graph this one, two and 20. So go over to two and go all the way up to 20. Okay. All right. And let's do one more because we want it to go down just a little bit more. So let's do three. Negative three. Okay, so we got negative three. Y is equal to we got five times two to the negative three. Okay, so this is going to be five times uh, we got one over two to now the positive three. Put a one under this. We got two times two times two is eight here. So this is five over eight, okay? So we got, and that's gonna be half of this, okay, right? So five divided by eight is going to give us 0. 0.625, a little bit over the halfway mark, right? So this is negative three right here, and a little bit over the halfway mark is right in here somewhere. Estimated, you know, all right? And so that's what it looks like. I kind of got cricket down here. Sorry about that. Try that a little bit better. Approaching zero, but never reaching zero. Okay. Never reaching zero here either. All right. Okay. Let's do the next one. Oh, and don't forget to label this as your y intercept. Okay. Number three, this is exponential decay. And it's exponential decay because B is less than one. Your A or your Y intercept is four. And your B, your um, common ratio is one half or 0.5. All right. So now, number three, I'm gonna do the same thing. And draw a factor. Draw not factor. Lord help me. I'm gonna draw a function table. Okay. So this is y is equal to four times one half to the x power. Okay. So again, look at our x values are from negative seven to positive seven. All right. So I'm start with zero first. So we already know that our starting amount, our zero number is gonna be four, but we're gonna substitute anyway. So we got one half raised to the zero power. 
Anything raised to zero power is one. So this is four times one, which gives you four. We already knew that. Okay. So we got zero and four right here. All right. Now let's do one. Okay. So we y is equal to four and got one half to the first power. So of course this is going to be four times a half. Half of four is going to be two. Okay, if I multiply straight across, four over two, which is still going to be two. Remember, you're multiplying by half every time, so that's going to give me two here. So this is one comma two. So we got this is one here and go up two. All right. So let's do two. Y is equal to four, one half to the second power. Okay. All right. So this is going to give me four here. And when I distribute this exponent to both numbers in the parentheses, on the top, that still gives me one. But on the bottom, when I say two to the second power, that gives me four. So when I multiply straight across, this gives me four over four, which is one. And remember, when I multiply two times a half, that's going to give me one anyway, because half of two is one. So we knew we was going to get one here anyway. Two, one. So go over two and up one. Okay. And we know half of one is going to be 0.5. So our next point right here is 0.5 anyway. All right. Okay. So we can do that. And it's going to just keep going down by half. Okay. Now we want points in the opposite direction. So that's, let's do negative one. So let's do negative one for my x this time. So we got y is equal to four times one half to the negative one power. Okay. All right, so here to make this a positive um, exponent, you got to move it down to the bottom. So this is one over, and this is going to look so funny, y'all, one half. Now to, it's to the positive one because it's on the bottom. All right, so this is how you have to do this part first. So I'm going to do this part over to the side. I got one and write it side by side divided by a half. This is how you do this. Okay, so I put a one under this. I change this to multiplication. Okay, and I flip this to do the reciprocal. So the reciprocal is going to be two, two over one. Okay, so now this is going to give me, this is going to give me when I multiply straight across, this is going, to, oops, why'd I put two right here? Lord, help me. Sorry, y'all. Look, I'm tripping. So this is going to give me 2 over 1, which is just 2. All right. So we get y is equal to here, um, 4 times 2, which is 8. All right. So this is 8. So we got negative 1, go over, and we go up 8. So in working backwards, instead of dividing by 2, multiply by 2. So if I multiply 8 times 2, I know that my next value is going to be 16. So I'm going to go to my next my next number is going to be 16. So I go up to 16. Working backwards and I multiply this by 2, my next value is going to be 32, but I don't have enough space here. Okay. All right. And then obviously another way to look at the, to check to make sure your function table is right is to type it into the calculator. So here what we have, look at this. What we have is um, y is equal to, we got four times one over two, carrot key x. So we type this under y equals. Now we're going to look at our function table. That's second and graph okay and i should have cleared my calculator before because i should have started at zero right oh lord let me go all the way back up because i had used my calculator previously for something else so let me go back all the way back up here 
And see, so that's how you can check your numbers in your function table. Okay, of course, we check our numbers in our function table. Look, um, negative one is eight, and that's what I got down here. Then I got zero and four, zero and four is here. Then I got, let's see, one and two. I got two and one. Okay, so I can use the calculator to graph as well or to check my function table by typing in the equation and then going to second graph. Okay, all right, let's look at, let's look at the next one. This one right here, doing the same thing. This is exponential decay because B is less than one. So we got exponential decay. B is less than one, all right? My A here is going to be two, and my B here is going to be one half, okay? All right, so I'm gonna do another function table. Okay, I'm gonna get a new sheet of paper because, you know, let me just get a new sheet of paper. All right, so we're doing another function table, just like this. This is x, this is y. You're going to put the equation here in the middle. Okay, just like that. All right, so now same x values that goes from negative 7 to 7. And I want to be able to graph on this coordinate plane, so I'm going to stay within that range. So I'm going to start with 0 first. You don't always have to start with 0. I just do because it's the starting amount. But you don't always have to do that. All right, so I have y is equal to 2 times 1 half to the 0 power. And no, my y-intercept is going to be 2 because that's what my a is. Anything raised to the 0 power is 1. So this is 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Okay, we already knew that by looking at the equation. So now I'm going to graph 0 and 2. So this is 0. I'm going to go up to 2. Okay, now I'm going to do, let's do uh, 1, okay, so we got y is equal to 2, and remember we're going down by half, so this should, the answer here should be 1, okay, so this is times 1 half to the first power, so this is going to be 2 times 1 half to the first power is just 1 half, write this as a fraction. Multiply straight across. This gives me 2 over 2, which is 1. So 1, 1 is the order pair. Go over 1 and up 1. All right, so in this direction, half of 1 is 0. 0.5. Half of 0. 0.5, the next number um, should be 0. 0.25 in that direction. Okay. All right, so let's go in the other direction. Okay, opposite um direction instead of multiplying by half i mean multiplying by half multiply by two to get the the numbers in the opposite direction so if i multiply two um times two my next number here is going to be four when i multiply four times two my next number is going to be eight when i multiply eight times two my next number is going to be 16 and so on and so forth and this is my okay. Make sure that you attach your work. All right. So now let's look at these. Okay. Let's look at these when we do these. All right. So now when we do, well, we can skip these. I won't do these with you. I won't make you do that. But um, cause yeah, I'll wait till next week to describe those. Um, so let's do problems that look like this. How do you write an equation for this? So we have a starting amount. Remember what we need. Y is equal to a times b to the x power. Our starting amount is right here and that's two. So our a is equal to two. Let's see. Right, let's find our next order point. So we went from here. Uh, and our next one is all the way up here. Well, one is right here. It's right there somewhere. And then two is right in here somewhere. Okay. So let's do some 
let's do some ordered pairs. Okay, so this is exponential growth because we know, I should have wrote that, because it's growing at a rapid rate. From the left to right, like you're reading, this line is going up at a more rapid rate. So let's figure out what the table values are, X and Y. So, so far you got, again, I'm sorry, zero and two. And then you got here one, and it looks like five. And then two, it looks like it's all the way up here at, what is that, 17? Okay. All right, so let's use our calculator to figure this out, or um, we can divide to see what this would be. So just in case you don't use a calculator, let's go ahead and divide to figure this out. So what number was multiplied to get from here to here? So we're gonna divide to see what that is. When we divide, we got two, I'm sorry, five divided by two, and that gives you 2.5. So you're multiplying by 2.5. So we think, let's see if we do this because I might have chose the wrong two points. So let me double check just to make sure. So we got seven, uh, 17 divided by five. That's three points. So yeah, see, I chose the wrong two points. So I got to get closer because if this is one, five, when I multiply by 2.5, five let's do five times 2.5 i should have got 12.5 12 see so it's not because this is two this is one and five and then it, that is five right let me see one two three four five that's one and five and this is, so let's see what the calculator gives us, okay, instead of doing it like that. Let me see what they give us. All right, so I'm going to clear my calculator. So hit plus 712. And let's see what it gives us like this. Go to Y equals, edit, and let's type this in. We got um, 0, 1, Two. And then here we got 2, 5, and 17. I think 17 might be, that's right there, so we'll see what they give us. Then go to stat, go over to calc, and go down to exponential reg. And exponential reg is down here. And so now let's see what kind of equation they give us. Press enter twice. So they give us uh, 1.9 as the starting amount, and then 2.9. So see, that's what they give us. See how off that can possibly be? That is crazy. So it's y is equal to 1.9, which should have been really close to 2, um, times 2.9, I said 2.5. 2.9 to the x power. I wish that we would have got one that was kind of perfect, but it didn't work out perfectly. All right, so we're going to do this one the same way. This is, again, exponential growth, okay? And we're going to put x and y. So we got this point right here, which is 0 and negative 1. Let's find another point. Um, right here, which is two and what? Two and seven. And we got, let's do that. Do another one. Lord, how much did that one? All right, let's see. How do we get, we multiply by seven. So it looks like we're going to have to multiply by seven every single time because it didn't give us another point going in that direction. Bless it be. So our equation for this one is y is equal to, the starting amount is going to be negative one. Um, and our, um, our b is going to be, multiply by seven every time, 
So it's going to be 7 to the x power. So this is going to be the equation for that one. Okay? Please submit this assignment and we'll work more on this next week. Have a good one.